Randall Lane, we're here back at Davos, the World Economic Forum. Uh, we're at Imagination in Action, talking about AI all day. And we have Derek Ha Young Lee uh, from Squirrel, which just uh, Squirrel Learning just off stage. Uh, I will say, Derek, the crowd was very interested and intrigued when we pointed out that you were the only speaker from China, and uh, the moderator asked, should China be about a conversation in the entire room, raise their hand. Mm -hmm. First, let's talk about uh, AI as a global phenomenon. Everybody seems to be talking about it like, oh, this country can regulate it, that country can regulate it. Mm -hmm. I don't think enough of people are appreciating just the, 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 the global nature of the technology. Maybe you could impart wisdom there. Okay. Um, I think uh, because Chinese have a very good tr tradition of learning math very hard, so I think the Chinese people are very good at AI and uh, the hard technology. So, and also uh, we all call that Chinese people have uh, much more subtle feeling. So we could um, detect what the uh, consumers, their, their needs, their feelings, so we can perfect the uh, product better and better. Uh, so recent years, actually, the uh, Chinese companies go international more and more and uh, better and better. Uh, uh, it's not like BAT time, they just uh, copy from uh, uh, US and now the chi Chinese uh, company have more innovation and uh, like Score AI we have more than 100 patents already acquired and uh, we uh, in some way uh, lead the, uh, the new technology and new uh, product function of AI education. Yeah, so that I became the chair of the uh, AI education at Triple E. So I think uh, it's more and more uh, opportunity, and everybody are international now. Yeah, is is China feeling like you walk around here and you see, you know, especially with the Americans, some Europeans, just AI, you know, in the tech community, it's just an absolute fever right now. Is that the same way in China? Uh yeah, uh, in. China, I think uh, everybody accept AI very uh, quickly, and uh, Chinese people are not care so much about the uh, uh, privacy than U.S. and Europe. So um, the users give a lot of allowance for the uh, companies, so that uh, we could train. Uh, the uh, model very well and uh, benefit more for the public. Uh, for example, we donate uh, the account for the 20% uh, poorest families so that I think AI could do a lot of good. Uh, yeah. And uh, uh, in China, I think it's, it's like the high-speed train. The AI is going much faster. Yes, yes, it's the, the high-speed train right now. Yeah, of, yeah. you experience of, that. Of where all the, where all the, yeah. Certainly where all the tech investing is. All right, so tell us specifically what, what Squirrel AI Learning does. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you mentioned, of course, China being very open to, to innovations mm -hmm. and also you know, famously being open to rethinking the education system. So yeah. what, what does Squirrel do? First, where did the name Squirrel come from? Oh, uh, Squirrel is uh, uh, one of the top ten smartest uh, uh, animals. I did not know that. You did not know that. Yeah, yeah, smart, yeah, huh? yeah, yeah. And uh, uh, also, uh, Squirrel could crack the hardest nuts. Uh, that's true. Yeah, yeah. So we want to help the kids to uh, crack the difficulties in their learning, and we help a lot of poor kids who, who are uh, not good at uh, learning to become very fast learners and uh, we, uh, we so build... Tell what, so tell us what it does. So scroll, scroll, yeah, scroll yeah. We, we build a virtual AI uh, teacher uh, that uh, interact directly with the student without any other teacher's instruction. So it's kind of like level five uh, autonomous driving. Uh, most other uh, AI education companies, they are uh, building AI too for the school teachers, so it's like level two, level five technology. So now we are the only one who do the fully virtual tutor. Yeah, yeah. And we have 24 million students already, yeah. and our annual compound growth in the past three years are more than 100%. Wow, now is it meant, yeah. is it meant to be a supplement to teachers, like your own private tutor, or is it is the idea you evolve that it becomes a teacher, the, 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 the primary uh, teacher? I think it's uh, the primary teacher. I think teacher's role will change dramatically in the uh, future 10 years. Uh, teaching knowledge and uh, teaching fundamental uh, textbooks are not important for them. They have to 
change into data analyst or maybe they will uh, feel very hard in the in the in the future yeah because ai could uh, teach students uh, by their own and uh, with a uh, more efficient way because we have a lot of efficacy studies show that uh, students could learn 30 uh, percent much better result than the best human teachers so it, it's what you're talking about is ai becoming the teacher of kind of the the more the rote information, the, where the teacher then is teaching people how to think or how to be a human. Uh, <laughs> yeah, actually, uh, the uh, school AI virtual tutor could provoke more uh, thinking for the uh, student. It's uh, it's better than the uh, teacher. It's like um, the. Uh, it's like Da Vinci plus Einstein plus uh, uh, every supermaster together with the kids. I think if a kid uh, learn with AI supermaster from like three years old, everybody could be ten times smarter than we are. Yes. Well, you, you, you mentioned on stage uh, just now on the big stage how you were arguing that humans' brains, just like our bodies, we're not all working in the fields anymore or in the factories that we're all, as knowledge workers, that humans have gotten weaker. You're, you made a very, you know, it was a very strong comment that it got the room buzzing about humans' brains shrinking because AI is doing a lot of thinking. Do you, tell us more about that. Uh, I think 90% uh, of the human brain will shrink because uh, uh, before the, all the... Uh, technology make the uh, uh, product that to replace all the human body work. Yes. But in the future, in 20 or 50 years, the AI will replace all the human's brain work. Yes. So, so uh, then what will humans do? Yeah, we, 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 we do not need wisdom, actually. But uh, we need a brain gym. Yeah, to train our brain, all we will be idiot actually. Yes. But um, uh, I, I think I build school AI is, uh, uh, with the spirit that knowledge is not important because knowledge is everywhere and we can get it. Yeah. No, uh, knowledge is a commodity. Presumably, how to think is the value added, right? Yeah, yeah. So, so how to how to think? Yeah. yeah how to uh, um, you know the learning ability, learning new things. Uh, so. Um, I, I think we have to change dramatically our education system because kids are already using ChatGPT to to uh, to do the homework. It's kind of like uh, when you go to the uh, sport, you just use all kinds of you know <laughs> tools uh, to help you. That, that that's that's not right. When when you want to train the kids to run, you will not want them to ride a bicycle or a car, right? So we have to train the kids how to run, how to jump, how to do things. Yep. So it's uh, it, it should be a big issue, uh, yes. but uh, nobody noticed that. That's a big look in the future. Uh, all right, la last question. Where do you see both Squirrel and AI in general a year from now? How fast is this all moving? Uh, we are entering the uh, international market, and uh, I think the uh, speed will be very, very sharp. It's, uh, for, for example, our, our uh, growth curve in the past four years is like this. Uh, the, the AI makes how many, things... How many, how many customers do you have now? Revenue? Uh, you know, give us some metrics. Oh, yeah, yeah. We, uh, we have uh, 24 uh, million uh, customers and uh, uh, more than 1 million paid uh, customers and uh, last year we have uh, 3 billion uh, RMB revenue mm -hmm. and um, uh, also I, I think the, there, there's kind of like uh, a big danger that people do not aware of that. For, for example, like you ask me uh, if we can do the teaching all along without a teacher. Yep. Uh, and also I think that uh, uh, job loss in te teacher, in lawyers, in doctors, and in all of the other uh, careers that AI may replace in the ten years is coming uh, faster and faster. It's yep. it's like five years before when AlphaGo came, we are just uh, like talking jokes about this. Yes. But recently, with uh, large model and the technique and the uh, AI 
uh, company in different industry. I think it's coming very soon. So um, I think all of us should think of how to deal with that, how to rescue uh, the people to make the teacher become uh, like um, they, they can give emotion, uh, uh, comfort to the kids, they can analyze the data. They have to change from carrier driver yep. to airplane pilot. Yes. All right, that's a view from the future. <laughs> and some very provocative stuff. Thank you, Derek. Good luck. Uh, good luck with everything you're doing. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.